best internets. This cat mint beard. Let me get my mic placed. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna play using my Federation captain because yesterday I wanted to do this, but we didn't get the chance because STO was being dumb on Star Trek Day of all days. So I'll uh Citizens of the Federation and her allies. It is my honor to introduce the official Starfleet Ships of the Line Museum. This undertaking, made mm -hmm. possible by the help of so many of you, is to educate the galaxy at large about the history of some of the greatest ships to serve in Starfleet. Mm -hmm. And allow you to look at full-size replicas of the ships, lovingly recreated and restored. Isn't that nice? Please. Take your time and peruse this look back at our history. I know that I, myself, have already spent several days staring in wonder at these pieces of the past, preserved mm. and revived for this day. After one standard Earth Day, the exhibit will move to several museums and galleries around the galaxy, but it will be visible once a year above Earth Space Dock and Deep Space Nine on this most important date. Awesome. Thank you, Mr. President. And my my Go Live bot has been acting up, so I'm actually not counting on it. I'm uh, tweeting real fast. I apologize. Me one second. Very unprofessional of me. But this was an impromptu stream, so it's kind of kind of chaotic right now anyway. Okay. I'll just make sure to mute my phone so it doesn't doesn't ring or anything during the stream. Okay. So now let's boogie on over here I mean I assume if I go to Deep Space Nine since I said it would be at Deep Space Nine as well that I would find it there that's probably how I would get to it with my Klingon but you know so let's look at the ships of the line and then we'll do the TFO then we'll switch back to my normal guy How close do I have to get? Okay. Space, the final frontier. All right, and this is the original from the original series, Star Trek, September eighth, nineteen sixty-six. So that's why it was uh, Star Trek Day yesterday to celebrate the initial airing through nineteen. 69. Wow, it's it's mind blowing that I was not even like born yet. Now, and I grew up watching the original. Let's make sure history never forgets the name Enterprise. And this guy right here from Star Trek: The Next Generation. This was on when I was was a kid. I watched it with my grandma. I'm sure I've talked about that a hundred times, how my grandma was a Trekkie and got me into it. Um, hey, Jupiter Oil. How you doing? I'm just taking a... In Star Trek Online, because it's, uh, well, it's like the day after Star Trek Day, I try to do this on actual Star Trek Day. They've got all the ships from the shows on display. So we're taking a look at those real quick. We explore our lives, day by day. And we explore the galaxy, trying to expand the boundaries of our knowledge. And that mm -hmm. is why I am here. Not to conquer you with weapons or with ideas, but to coexist and learn. 
All right, and that was a quote from the emissary himself, Captain Benjamin Sisko. And this was the Defiant from Deep Space Nine, which was, uh, unfortunately, let's see, through 1999, maybe my grandma did get to see this one. I don't know that she did. I didn't watch it with her. Um, I hadn't graduated high school yet, and the last time I saw her, I was in college, and, uh, you know, before she passed, so maybe she did get to see Deep Space Nine. Maybe she did, I just didn't get to see it with her. I watched, uh, all of the original series and most of The Next Generation with her, so... In a region where shifting allegiances are commonplace, we have to have something stable to rely on. And we do. The principles and ideals of the Federation. Yep, and this is the USS Voyager from, you guessed it, Voyager. Which ran through 2001. So, like, pretty much when I, gra yeah, I graduated in uh, 2001 from high school. So, yeah. Voyager was my high school show. Oh, hey, watch out, buddy. And this is the Enterprise. And so that quote right there gives it away. This is the Enterprise E that debuted in First Contact and was in the uh, those three Next Generation movies. Sovereign class, pretty awesome. Pretty toit. And here we have the Kelvin Enterprise. Your father was captain of a starship for 12 minutes. He saved 800 lives, including your mother's and yours. I dare you to do better. Hell of a quote. So yeah, we've established that, you know, this was in Star Trek 2009, Into Darkness, and Star Trek Beyond. And kind of sad thing that it's probably not going to have any more movies, but you know, what can you do? Yeah, Kittimer class. I kind of wish I'd gotten that one. That that one that bumped into me. But what can you do? And here we go. I'll find a way through this. But I won't leave anyone behind. Not if I can help it. I can't try to save humanity without holding on to what makes me human. Mm hmm So this is the NX-01 Enterprise from... You guessed it, Star Trek Enterprise. That was on while I was in college. And, you know, it had a rocky start, but I felt like it got really good right before it got canceled, as is the way of things. And next is perhaps the net most controversial ship. The only way to defeat fear is to tell it no. No. We will not take shortcuts on the path to righteousness. No. We will not break the rules that protect us from our basest instincts. No. We will not allow desperation to destroy moral authority. Yeah, Discovery has had a lot of ups and downs. I mean, season one, I honestly did not care for it. Season two was a lot better. Uh, and on Star Trek Day, they had a trailer for Season 3. It looks uh, kind of interesting. I'm hopeful that it's going to be good. I try to be optimistic. Now, where's the Cerritos from Lower Decks? That's what I want to know. Wherever our mission takes us, we'll try to have a little fun along the way, too, huh? Make a little noise. Ruffle a few feathers. So this is uh, what's often called the Wreck Constitution, which appeared in uh, Discovery and is likely going to be the ship used in Strange New Worlds, which I am pretty excited for. Because it's supposed to be like a return to form, like that TNG Voyager kind of formula. And, oh, click on it. Come on, 
Theirs not to make reply. Theirs not to reason why. Theirs but to do and die. Into the valley of death rode the 600. And I haven't had seen that particular scene, but this is the Enterprise F that appears in Star Trek Online. So... So yeah, it's not necessarily the canon Enterprise F, but in Star Trek Online it is. And it's a pretty good looking ship. I would not be mad about it being uh, being the one. So now that we've done that, how are you, how are you, Jupiter Oil? How you doing? So while uh, while Jupiter Oil is is thinking that over, we're going to join the TFO, which is this is the new event to Hell with Honor, which it's uh. Yep, here we go. I believe TFO stands for Tactical Field Operation, if I'm not mistaken. I've only done this, I did this once earlier today. You have to do it, I believe, 14 times is what it said to get the thing. Alright, so this is a, hey, that's a cool ship up there. That's one, another event ship that I did not get. That I was like, eh. That came out when I was in my eh phase, just like the Kittimer, that one above me, the red and gray one. So. Go to Shipyard Alpha. Destroy the Mokai vessels. Before they can power up. So yeah, we wanna go, we wanna fly high. And it's pretty much push all the buttons and try not to die. Get a little closer and then we use neutronic eddies. And then chains of fire. To just wreck face on it. In addition to firing normal weapons. So that was pretty quick. We crushed that one. There's not much point in fighting the Lucar yet. So I'm going to use decoy to try to get out of combat so I can get over there faster. And this is why I chose my other Starfleet vessel. Because this is like this ship if I when I'm level 65 and I've got all these like awesome crew members. Let's do holographic let's do holographic reinforcements. Which that's cool because that will uh, summon some guys that are holograms to both do damage and take hits, which is very useful. Yeah, and I got in way too close. It's okay if I get blown up, it's not a big deal. Alright, now I'm gonna use, just gonna use evasive maneuvers. So I can try to get over to the next point. Oh man, they're getting away. Target shields have failed. Well, there's still some here, but I guess everyone's going in different directions, so this isn't actually turning out very well. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing. Yeah. 
And in the TFOs, after you pick an item and say you want to take it, you have to put like a a need. Destroy the shipyard at Epsilon. Where's Epsilon? It's over there. So the same thing, evasive maneuvers to try to get a combat range. And then it wants them. So where is where so, is Jula? Jaula has some honor after all. Give her a warrior's death. There it is. There she's over there. Alright, so let me get my buffs up before we go. Take us down in real close. Fire all weapons. Push a bunch of buttons and try not to die. Uh, here, let's pop a turret, why not? Give me everything. I want it all. I want it all. Give me. I said, give it to me. I don't care. Take it. See, it's so chaotic, I really actually have no clue what's even happening. But you don't want to waste time fighting turrets if you can help it. Where is she? Oh, she's over there. Okay. Alright, I'm on it. I'm on it. Dude, I'm trying to get there as fast as I can. And here we go. Do some more Neutronic Eddies. Do another Photonic Fleet. Do whatever this is. Do whatever that is. Destroy the shit out of everything. Push buttons. Try not to die. Chains of Fire again, because why not? That really seems to be effective. Ooh. Awesome, glad to hear it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, do I not have engineering team? That sucks. Okay. I'm I I'm not really even paying attention to be honest with you. I don't know how well I'm doing. I'm not dead, so I guess that means I'm doing good. Whoa. Something is tearing my shields up. Do a decoy, come on. Whoa. It's like I can't even tell where my cursor is. This is so insane. Alright, let's do some more Neutronic Eddies. Just because it seems to screw everyone over. I'm glad you think so, Klingon guy. Uh, 
Oh, we're not done? Okay. Wow, just like the sheer amount of firepower these guys are taking. Third rift? Okay. Have I mentioned that I find it hilarious that they're playing Flight of the Valkyries while we're doing this? Take us down. Ready weapons, ready buffs. Uh, shoot everything. Uh, why not? Let's do photonic fleet. Drop another turret because we can. Do some more neutronic eddies because we can. Do some more chains of fire inside the Neutronic Eddies because we're being a jerk. Push buttons, push buttons, button mash, button mash, button mash. Coming in hot. I I honestly have no clue what's even happening. I'm sure it looks extremely impressive, but I'm just so busy focused on my HUD. Oh, Eddies are ready. Let's do it. Chains of Fire are ready. Let's do it. Tykens Rift is ready. Let's do it. Give me everything. Give me everything. Give it to me, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Give it to me, baby. A gigantic walker, you say? Okay. I mean, I take your word for it, cause holy crap, look at all that. This is insane. I don't even. I, I don't even know. I don't even know what's happening. Sure, photonic fleet.
Alright. Yeah. I guess. See you in a minute there, Jupiter. Okay. What do we got here? R&D reward package again, okay. Got some ship pieces. Stuff that I'm not that interested in, if I'm being honest. Promotional R&D pack. You know, I might give those, I'm going to probably just account bank and give those R&D items to my Klingon, because why not? Oh, and I need to check my, my TFO progress on that, because I did it once earlier. So I want to see... Yep. Only counts as once, that's fine. Campaign. Uh, okay, so it doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't matter how many times I do it in one day. The event, the campaign progress isn't going to... So there's no way I could get these because I wasn't doing all these earlier. That's fine. Actually, it's not that big a deal. Whatever, let's just go ahead and switch. So we can get back into business. So I did get some more, like another bridge officer and a few other things. Just gonna take a quick, quick, quick look. I like my bridge officers. For duty officers. Let's see, do you have anything completed for me? No. Okay. Filters only with met requirements. And then I always try to go for like uncommons first. Okay, what we got here? Because rare assignments typically have better stuff. Uh, let's see what we got here. Purchase some turrets. Let's do it. Turrets are super useful and I love them. Okay, so that's about it for that. Yeah, yeah, scavenge from a skirmish. Sounds good. Pillage a trading post. Scavenge a minefield. Yes. Why not? Uh, no, he's got a red. What do you have for me, Kagan? The same ones. You got for me decrypt intercepted files okay 
Eva suit training. See, I know it's EVA. I'm just being a, just being silly. Murder. What do you have? Restore sibling's honor. Okay. Perform traditional Klingon opera. Nice. Uh, science, what you got? Nothing. Okay. Medical, what you got? Nothing. Tactical. Okay. Negotiate prisoner exchange. Okay. And that's all we can do with that for right now. So odd on the D. Uh, let's see. All my duty officers are on assignment. Okay. So I can't do anything with these right now. Okay. Which is, which is okay. Okay. All right. You. All right. Anyhow, let's get off the bridge and let's go to Jabber. Go ahead and move on to Jabberwocky. Sorry, I have to respond to this really quickly. Okay. Give me big. Let's go ahead and get over there. Trans walk me. Begin Jabberwocky. Arrived in the Batra system, we are. So we're detecting our dashing warp signatures. It's a true way. They're hailing us. I am Golmutak of the Kriegar, Adjutant General to Gol Kardec. I don't care. You are carrying stolen property belonging to the true way. Lower your shields and prepare to be boarded. Are you insane? We are in orbit of Bajor. We could have ships here in a moment. Skoff Communications powering up weapons. What are your orders? Hail DS9. Commander been ambushed by the true way in orbit of Bajor. In the orbit of Bajor? But how could they? <sighs> Nerve of that. Mm-hmm. Sorry. I'm okay. I will borrow the Defiant and be there momentarily. I wouldn't be too concerned. They are the ones who need to be concerned. Why? Because... Because that's why. Jerks. Good. You're still in one piece. Let's teach these cardies a lesson. <laughs> I appreciate your zeal, Commander. Let's not get carried away. Like, what kind of Klingon are you, bro? Yeah, where are they?
Oh, there's more of you guys? Okay, I'll have a turret. Okay, maybe we need to... Engineering and science teams and you guys to get on that. Oh, it hit summoned a photonic fleet? That cheeky bastard. Come on, all right, engineering team, get that hull up. Science team, get those shields up. Okay. Hull's almost better. Oh, my mines are still homing in on them, that's great. All right, shields are almost at 100%. Okay, all right, let's get in there. Get us in the middle. Like how how is this guy kicking my ass so effectively is what I don't understand. Mouse, this is a bad time for you to go crazy on me. Looks nice. That's the last of them for now. I will remain in orbit while you return the orb, just in case. Sounds good. Vidic Kryn indicates he's waiting for you at the temple. Okay. Which is where exactly? We're just chilling on Bajor. We're just running around Bajor. We don't know where we're going. We're just running around Bajor. What you never see in the TV show. That's why we don't know where to go. Welcome to Bajor. Do you need something? Yes, what do you do? I get my hands dirty for the good of Bajor. We have a full-time botanist on staff here, but I'm the one who helps translate the science into practical applications farmers mm -hmm. in this region can use to improve their crops. Sounds cool. I've loved green and growing things since I was a child. Nice. Some of my earliest memories. Welcome back, Jupiter Oil. Mother in the garden, as she taught me the names of all the plants and how to care for them. Cool. No matter how much Bajor advances, it will always be a world that respects and values its forests and farms. We live in harmony with our world, just as the prophets intended. That must be nice. Okay. So, can you tell me how to get to, like, the temple? Uh, 
Uh, what's going on here? What's up? Okay, then why did you say hi? Why are there other Klingons yelling at you? Like, man, where is... I think it's over here in this that the, the map is just not very good. Is what I seem to remember. Oh, hey, fish. Can I catch you, fish? No? You're not real, are you? Okay, that's fine. They're probably like, why is there a Klingon in the freaking pool? <laughs> the heck is going on? Greetings. Do you seek the wisdom of the prophets? I'm looking for Vedic Krin. Vedic Krin is in the temple office, just to the east of here. Okay, thank you. How can I help you? Uh, I'm looking for the Vedic. There we go. How may I help you? I am here to return this orb to the temple. Wonderful. The prophets have smiled upon us this day. What was lost has been returned to us. You have done a great service for the Bajoran people today, and we are most grateful. It was an honor and privilege to carry this burden, and from a Klingon that means something. Please place the orb upon the altar. Okay. All right, and uh, I'm guessing that's next door. So many POIs on Bajor. Here we go. I return the orb of possibilities. The service rendered is not the service desired. What does not belong cannot be returned. Hmm. I don't get it. What has been returned does not belong. We must travel backward. When we gaze in the mirror, we see our faces as others do, but reversed. Mm. The task abides. You have recovered an orb. Now you must return it. As you must return. Interesting. Whoop. This is actually kind of a cool idea. I would be honored to know what the prophets shared with you, if you are willing. Sometimes their visions can be very confusing, and I have some experience interpreting them. It's very cryptic, but they seem to suggest that this is not their orb, that I must return it elsewhere. Elsewhere? But it is an orb of the prophets. Where else could it belong? Unless... Are you familiar with the so-called mirror universe? Mm -hmm. I know very little about it myself, but there is a book on that table over there by a Vedic Eth describing his experiences. Perhaps it can guide you. Thank you, Ver thank you, Kryn. Read on the Mirror Universe. I've been fascinated by the existence of this so-called Mirror Universe ever since our recent contact with it. I've interviewed the emissary, Colonel Kira, Kira, and others about their experiences with the Mirror Universe. But so many questions remain. It seems the Mirror Universe has prophets, but they are... Are they the same prophets? There's no mention of a celestial temple, and certainly the mere Benjamin Sisko was no emissary. I shall petition the Vedic Assembly for permission to enter the mirror. The Vedic Assembly has denied my request. Besides the debates about doctrine and theology, the deciding factor was political. The Federation has quarantined any access to the mirror universe and Bajor seeking membership. I've continued my research and by interviews, 
but my question remain unanswered. I fear I have no choice but to renounce my seat in the assembly and pursue the entrance to the mirror universe on my own. I don't have the technological prowess to create one of those multi-dimensional devices myself, but I have an engineer friend who owes me a favor. This can't end well. I'm lucky to be alive. I managed to cross over to the mirror universe, but Terok Nor, as they call Deep Space Nine, has been taken over by the Terran Rebellion. They're using it as a base of power, attempting to reassert their control over the Bajor sector. Bajorans are not trusted and are used mostly for mining and ore processing. The cruel irony giving Bajor's history in both universes. I can't talk right now for some reason. I don't know what's going on. But I was able to join with the Bajoran workers and get some of my questions answered. The Bajorans of the Muir universe are much like us, and it sounds as if their profits are also most similar. They even have orbs such as we have here. However, to them, the Celestial Temple is myth or metaphor, not a physical place such as ours. I do not know if this is because it simply hasn't been discovered, or if the prophets of that universe have sealed themselves away for some reason. The only way to find out is to either cross over with a spaceship, or somehow procure one, he one there. I have received a curious message from somebody from the Mirror Universe offering me assistance. Shortly after making this entry, Vedic Eth disappeared and was never heard from again. Sarah's here. We believe this orb is from the Mirror Universe. We think we can pass it through it. We can pass into it through an anomaly we found earlier. Acknowledged. Be careful. The mm -hmm. Mirror Universe is known to be more treacherous than our universe, and you will be cut off from any support here. I appreciate the concern, Commander, but we'll be fine. Yeah, let's go ahead and beam on up. Sarah's here. What is your status? Uh. I don't want to go in just yet. Actually. I changed my mind. I just want to go to... Yeah, that's fine. Because I can just transport back in a minute. Alright, so we're going to take us a little quick mini break here, so uh, enjoy the clips, stretch your legs, whatever you need to do, see you back momentarily.